friends I hope you uh, can hear me through my audio it's coming and going but anyway what I was gonna show you is I decided to wash some of my uh, some of my blankets because they gotten kind of filthy and you know I just wash them and you know that even hard if you have laundry but anyway, so I've decided to wash them here so I'm gonna show you what I did here okay let's see um, I have this stream it's actually clean the middle it's actually pretty clean it's, it's got fresh uh, we had fresh runoff as well it's always been flowing from the mountains here so anyway I'll show what I've done um, I take it's kind of hard. I need a bigger bucket, but I've taken this bucket and this is one of the blankets and I'm letting it soak right now. And like I said, you remember the technique is to make sure I poke a little bit. Now, I'm not going to do it all the way, but you I rotate it. I just keep pushing this down. See, there's like a stain there. I don't know what that is. But hey, um, so what you do is, like I said, you keep poking, you rotate it down because knocking the bubbles out is actually how a washer uh, works. A dish, I mean, not a, dish, <laughs> a washer, a clothes washer. It actually uh, knocks the bubbles out, okay? So you just keep pushing with this stick and keep pushing the corner and tuck it down and it rotates, okay? And uh, all right, so I'm gonna show you that. I got that one soaking. I'm gonna let it soak for a little bit. I'm using all natural uh, 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 laundry detergent because, you know, natural uh, perfumes and everything because I don't want to pollute the land anymore or cause anything. I made sure there's no fish in here too, but they could be downstream. But uh, anyway, so I have this one soaking. Look how filthy this thing is. It wasn't the water. That's how much dirt and dust you collect when you're traveling uh, in a vehicle because there's just constant dust. You're constantly driving the nation. I mean, seriously, I'm constantly fighting dust so and dirt. So anyway, so that's on my uh, blankets there, okay? And, uh, but anyway, so those are soaking there. This one I already did. This one I have hanging out to dry. So this one, you would, it was so bad. Oh, my gosh, that accidentally spilled like, you know, coke uh other things on it and so it's i mean you i should have done before and after okay but anyway so that's i'm letting it hang out to dry on the sage bush sage just smells good it probably won't transfer to it but anyway so it holds it there now i'll show you what i do this is how i rinse okay so what i do is i fill the bucket up there and i soak it right okay and then what i do is here see this little stream it's beautiful in here now i got to be careful because rattlesnakes are can still be around i saw uh just a gardener of the hot springs but anyway so what you do is, see here, I wish I could do it, but I just don't have a lot of time to do a lot of videos here. So what I do is, see how it's got that natural waterfall? So what I do is I take the blanket and I let it, I take the top of it and put it like there, let the bottom come there so the natural water flow will rinse it. So I just let it naturally just rinse for me. It just flows down there and uh, so it gets all the, all the uh, dirt and the filth and uh, any, uh, any uh, detergent off there, okay? And it's also good to do this here because we don't have you know, if there is any like fish or anything like that, where it's going to get uh, diluted very quickly versus sitting in a pond where it's just going to soak with the detergent. Even though it's just detergent, but leaving it in a pool of water could damage the fish because they need fresh things to breathe and it could, uh, you know, hurt their skin and stuff like that. Scales, they, they, you know, things. so this is a good spot here. It's flowing, a lot of water flow, so my impact on the environment should be very minimal. And that's one problem we have. We're all impacting the environment anyway too much. We're using too many chemicals, artificial things like this. But we know that, right? So, see that? So what I do is I do that. So I soak it. And also then that way you don't have, those things are heavy. So you don't have to take, I don't have to take them very far. Just take them with a sage brush. Okay? All right. So I'm letting that one soak. And they'll do the same thing that. I'll dump it in there. And then it'll come uh, clean. Right? I tell you, it's a two for you. You get to enjoy the outdoors instead of sitting in a laundromat. <laughs> you know? And, uh. And see, and there's my vehicle across the way. You got the hood open now. And you might want to shake your hood sometimes because people drive by and say, hey, you got a problem or something. And it draws attention, but it's okay because I got the hood because I'm just, that's when I was working on the battery life. But look at this beauty in this, right? Doing your laundry out in the middle of uh, this beauty. Ah, my God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Angels. Thank you for this. I mean, seriously. I mean, you can't ask for it. It's nice and warm. Actually, we're in shorts out here. It's about, uh, I think it's around 72 degrees. I can see the whole valley and see the mountains. I'm going to zoom in here to this. Ah, I can't zoom. <laughs> oh, there we go. There, I had to manually do it. So, you know, you got the mountains in the background. Just gorgeous. Yes. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to try to do it slowly so you can see this. So anyway, that is Bishop down there. This is great air. It's been really quiet. Hardly anybody. There's, I got some people that come up the left occasionally, but nobody drives through here. 
nice quiet spot. It's BLM land, so no one's gonna bother you. You're free to stay. There's like one camper over there, and I think and that's it. Especially on Sunday, you probably won't see much out here. So, anyway. So I'm really enjoying this. This is what I call whistle while you work. Oh, whistle while you work. <laughs> Sorry. All right. God bless and love y'all.